Hey there and welcome to another Fortnite action figure review. Today we have got something absolutely totally brand new. Something that I'm thinking Target may have put out early because this was supposed to be a 2021 item and that is the Ripley vending machine that you see before you in front of your eyes or at least on the video screen of your computer, phone or TV. I'm excited. I just happened to walk in tonight which was December 26th completely surprised that there was new product on the shelf this was the only item there were two of them because usually that doesn't happen usually a first few days to a week after christmas they don't usually have a ton of new stock and there's a few new things in there and so i grabbed it and i was super super excited so here is ripley's vending machine one thing i'll point out is that notice there is no pull here tab anymore there's no perforation around it it's designed now to be opened i believe from the bottom because we now have some tape down here and so i'll pop it open from the bottom cut it open at the bottom or pull it open from the bottom whichever the top i don't think worked actually the top might work just fine i might try the top instead of the bottom you forget everything i just said <laughs> sorry i'm just really excited about this flip it around we'll take a peek here at the back all 19 items are here on display, including the sticker, the Nana Nana Spray sticker. We get Ripley, and we get uh, four back blings, we get a spray, and we get a bunch of weapons, and there's a, at least one item, one weapon in here I'm super excited for. We're going to forget about any more explanation. We're going to take a quick break and come right back and open this thing up and take a look at all the goodies. So I got this open, I've got it all dumped over here, as you can see, kind of pieces over there, but I'm really, really confused about something. They removed this open tab, as I pointed out, mentioned earlier, yet they still have the pouch, the confetti pouch, and the sticker right there inside the thing. And so there is no way for you to you know, open this front unless I expect you to rip the box apart. I'm not really sure. Let me feel here. Oh, okay. Look at that. It's got like a fake front. I've never pulled the plastic down like this before. Oh, 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 this is cool. I didn't notice this before. I didn't know this because I don't open uh, these things all the way. I leave the plastic on as much as I can. They didn't remove the front. Not at all. Um, I'm going to see, I don't want to pull this out too far, but look right there. They still have the pull tab. The pull tab is still in there. They just have put a fake front on these to prevent apparently, um, these things from breaking or opening maybe before somebody buys it in the store. Oh, whoa. Okay. Well, that makes a lot more sense. When you open this up, you take take off this front you still have your pull tab and then the confetti breaks sorry for the blip there my battery died and i didn't want to refilm this because i wanted my excitement in that little segment to be genuine and not faked because you would be able to tell if i was faking it but anyway that's really really cool so all the things that seem to have the pull tabs missing must have this fake front i'm going to investigate that further um, but anyway wow that's really cool so this is now completely not pointless anymore like i was thinking it was they're smart <laughs> they they know what they're doing over there jazzwares you know i was like what's going on here that's kind of weird but it's not nearly as weird as it once was look at all this stuff we got this pile 19 bags of goodies here that we get to open and we get building tips and tricks guide everywhere everything's got a building tips and tricks guide so let's get this stuff open right now you know i was so excited about getting this thing open and having this i forgot to mention oh and i did mention it was from target i got it for 19.97 so keep an eye out at your target stores and you just might find one the first thing we're going to open is a disco ball blah, blah, 
disco ball back bling and this goes with the disco diva she has not been released yet as a figure and there goes the disco ball back bling all right moving on that's a cool thing it's got really no paint or, or anything on there it's just uh it's just a silver ball with little indentations but disco diva has not yet been released next we've got a weapon this looks like a legendary tactical shotgun and it's purple oh yeah okay i see the purple is right through here while well, that's black and that's a gray cool a tactical shotgun i was looking at the back of the package and just about all the weapons we're going to get all but one we've seen before so it won't be a whole lot of surprises from that come on come on come on and if I can get it out of here, we're going to see that it's not a harpoon gun. It is a compact sub machine gun of the golden variety. Golden variety, compact sub machine gun. Cool, cool. Let's grab this package at random. And we get another round thingy. Another, well, I shouldn't say another, this is the first one, but a ball bling. Ball bling goes with scratch. And we just recently opened scratch, so we can... Hook that right on his back so scratch is available in solo mode and now we've got his back bling kind of sticks out really far i hope it holds like a lot of interesting things but cool scratches back bling we'll put scratch over there kind of next random thing we're gonna open is i'm pretty sure another weapon there's gonna be a lot of weapons here an infantry rifle oh my infantry rifle is bent We'll straighten that up there just a little bit. A blue and brown infantry rifle. Cool, cool, cool. I predict this is another weapon. I do, I do, I do. I was right. How could I have been so right? Hey, this is a rocket launcher. And you know what? I was saying there's only one thing that we we're going to get that's new. But you know, this looks like this is a new rocket launcher this looks different than the rocket launchers we have seen in the past so i guess that makes this a new rocket launcher cool cool a red missile or like rocket red rocket and it's a purple rarity that's cool that's awesome that's neat 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 another one let's see what is this <laughs> this is awesome i was not oh this is it this is one of the things i was waiting for TNTina's Kaboombo. This is cool. This is definitely a brand new accessory, brand new weapon that we've gotten. And I hope that this means TNTina is coming out sometime down the road. I hope, I hope, I hope that's what this means. That's cool. I like the look of it a lot. Oh, that's cool. Next random package. It looks like a knife. It's not a knife. It is a double barrel shotgun. Double barrel. Look at that. It's all gold. Some light brown on there here and there. We've seen it before. Like I said, most of the weapons we've seen before. This is awesome. And a harpoon gun. We have seen the harpoon gun before. Look at that. It's all blue. Got some yellow cord, uh, pipe, a base down here. A harpoon gun. Let's do this one. Is this going to be another weapon? Let's see. We've done one, two, three, four, five. Six. We've done seven weapons. I think there's ten or nine. So we're getting close. Maybe nine. Two more. Two more weapons. Uh, we got a drum gun of the green variety. I like drum guns. I think those are pretty cool. Drum guns. Yep, there we go. Let's see. Is this going to be a back bling? We need a couple more back blings. We've only opened up two and I dropped one. Nope, it's a gun. It's a weapon. This might be the last weapon. It is a pump shotgun. And you, does this look different? You know, I think... I think this is a different pump shotgun. So while we've gotten some of these weapons before... There went Scratch. Uh, I think they've redesigned a few of them. This, this is a pump shotgun that looks different it's slender the older pump shotguns were a little bit thicker and heavier that's cool wow there's been a few surprises in this vending machine already wow this is neat 
This is so, so cool. Get over here, Target. Ooh, that's big. <gasps> Whoa, it's the shell. It's uh, Shelly. And you know who this belongs to? This belongs to Jelly, who was, oh, introduced in, what, chap season, Chapter 2, Season 3? The water season? Anyway, Jelly has not been released. This is, looks like the default, not rainbow, not green, but the default shell. Cool, cool, cool. I hope we're going to get Jelly. That would be pretty awesome. All right, what's this? The last back bling? If so, I'm excited. I'm excited all over. Just, there it is. The Squire Shield. And I hope that means we're getting Blue Squire. I love, I really like the medieval types of things. So hopefully this means we're getting Blue Squire. That's nice and smooth. It's, it's not etched or anything on there. This Shelly, you can feel the indentations around it, but this is a smooth picture. Cool, the Squire Shield. All right, let's get to this. This is the building material with the spray on it. I know because it feels like it. All right, this is, what was it? The fishbone, I think it's called. The fishbone goes this way. And goes, I think, this way. Fishbone is, was uh, introduced in chapter two, season two as part of the Swole Cat set. I don't know if it goes uh, this way or this way. Fishbone Spray. It was available in the Battle Pass at Tier 52. Tier 52. Yeah, I'm not really sure if it's this way or this way. Hey, why don't we just do it that way? That looks cool, too. Fish. All right, now you know what we're down to. We've opened everything. But this, this, my friends, feels huge <laughs> this feels like a really big figure and it's a heavy figure this oh wow they did a really good job they did a really good job look at that my camera is not quite he looks really blue on my camera screen i don't know if i can uh lighten or darken that for you he looks really cool. He's huge. Here, let's get a good scratch over here. Let's bend his ankles. Let's see if I can not break him on video. Because I just, as you saw, I just pulled him out of the, the package. I haven't had a chance to test him out. Look at that. Look how big he is next to Scratch. He's like a giant. Let's take a quick peek here at his articulation. And before we do that, I want to make sure he's in focus so we don't do articulation. Wow, look, he's so happy. He's, he's happy to be out. So his head rotates all the way around. There is no up and down articulation. It is just a rotation all the way around. His arms rotate also at the shoulders. And, man, he's got some guns on him. Look at those arms. And his shoulders pops his torso off. No, I'm just kidding. Come on, back on there. Ugh, I don't know if I'm going to get... There we go. His arms go up about that far. His elbows rotate. They have a single pin, and you can actually see it. This is translucent plastic, see-through plastic. So his wrists rotate around, and they have a horizontal hinge that allows back and forth movement. As you can see, he's got movement. In the torso, this guy's huge. <laughs> He's big. And his waist will allow him to rotate all the way around. He's got a pile of stuff around him. Look at all those, those pouches and those bags. He is, he is set. And actually, it is loose as well. It could be that when I popped him apart, I didn't get him quite together. I'll be, after the video, I'll be taking a look at this. It may not be properly together, but everything seems to rotate on this figure uh, if you want him to do the splits he can go about that far until his pouches stop him he's got the thigh rotation he's got double knee joints and his ankles rotate as well as ankle hinge now this right leg of mine was not hinging it wasn't hinging 
It's kind of like a Master Chief I got the other day. Oh, there we go. I think I got it too. There we go. Broke it free. It's now hinging. It's no longer hinging on anything. But yeah, I'm going to have to take a peek into this. I'll pop it apart again. Oh, I wonder if I actually uh, broke this. Not really broke it, but I made it really loose. That wiggles a lot now. But we'll pop him apart. Take a peek. Let's do a figure dissection real quick. So look, actually, the, the belt is just a rotatable item as well. It's uh, just a circle. I think they've uh, reworked how they've designed some of these figures. This goes on, and that means this rotates quite nicely that way. And then this ball joint hooks right in there like that, so that's how the figure goes together. So, maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe. That was a... Uh, maybe. <laughs> We may be ending the video with him <laughs> not together. Uh, uh, okay, hang on. Off screen. All right, back on screen, and I got him back together. And I think I actually did it much better. He's a lot tighter than he was. So I think the way I popped him together was not quite appropriate. And so now he is. There he goes. So Ripley... He is a rare, he used to be a rare skin. Now he is part of the Sludge series. And uh, yes, part of the Slurp Squad set. We'll give him a tactical shotgun here. And this is the blue style. There is a purple style. And you might say, well, there's a red one. Well, yeah, but the red one is Sludge, but the purple one is a variation of this one, Ripley, not a variation of Sludge. I know. Very difficult to keep track, right? And we'll give him a harpoon gun here. But anyway, he was available season one of chapter two. He was uh, one of the new residents, or one of the residents of the new island in chapter two that we were introduced, and he was available at level 20, tier 20, if I remember right. Now, I have to admit, full disclosure, I don't actually like this skin in game. I think this figure is really awesome, but I don't I don't use him in game at all. Uh, I use Remedy a fair amount. Remedy I think is pretty cool, but I don't use Ripley. Okay, so anyway, that's Ripley. I don't think I'm gonna say a whole lot more. We're gonna flip over. I'm gonna lay out everything real quick, and then we'll wrap the video up. And there it is. Here's Ripley. He's holding a gun. We've got the weapons, nine weapons or eight weapons in total. A couple back bling, a back bling on Scratch, back bling on Ripley. We've got the fishbone uh, spray over here on building material, the building tips and tricks guide. We have everything, all 19 pieces that was in this cool, awesome, brand new 2021 vending machine. And one thing I will mention real quick, I didn't talk a lot about except for exclaiming how awesome this fake front is, is the Nana Nana sticker that's included. The Jumbo Llama had the Nana Nana spray on a building material inside that. So if you want this sticker or if you want this spray, then get the Jumbo Llama or the, not the long, sorry, the vending machine, the jumbo vending machine, and you will be able to get that spray that way. Anyway, thank you for stopping by and watching. If you found this video helpful, informative, exciting, fun, entertaining, whatever, please hit the thumbs up for me. It tells me and YouTube you enjoyed this video. And if you really enjoyed it, hit the subscribe button, bell notification icon, and you will be notified when more of these types of review videos show up in the future. Again, thank you for stopping by and watching. Have a happy holidays. Enjoy the rest of your holidays. We will see you in the next video.